All right, yeah. hold on. Let's, I, like, let's, let's do it. Hold on. Let's just do it on the camera. Don't do the show before the show. Sometimes yes. it's better. We can clip it. Yes, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do the show for the show. You talk about boobs and you give me a cookie, I give you a and cookie. beer and and times Kevin tweeted stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We <laughs> never Burr. I never Burr. did Burr. that. Burr. Sorry, Burr. to the Burr. Wendy's. <laughs> First of all. Istanbul, Wisconsin, and Opel. Now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Been a long time. Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks. We have the full house today. Uh, my co-host, Brian. Hello. Waleed. Hi. And Kevin. Hello. As you can see in the title here, we're here to talk about The Amazing Race Season 33, Episode 7. So let's run down the line really quick before we talk about the end of the episode. Just general impressions. Uh, Kev, I'll start with you. Uh, overall i liked it i thought it was i like the challenges good variety um comedy was to a acceptable level and i guess uh the people i liked did well the people i didn't i don't like didn't do well boom uh waleed um yeah i mean just the initial thoughts about arun and natalia I mean, they have like that was really just what it came down to for me. I was like, they're going to get lucky and get out of this again, even if they finish in last. And I thought it was going to happen, and it did. And it just, I mean, I never even the even the guy, the host, what's the host's name? Even he said he's like, I don't think in thirty three years we've had a team that's had this many lives. <laughs> like, yeah. he, he not only did did he say it, he said he was like, I don't really know if anyone's had this. Like, you could tell he was kind of like really like because they knew it was random and that they knew that this you know that just happened yeah. to be every time they pick a leg to be non elimination. It is. Yeah. And that definitely shows the integrity of the game. Like they if this was The Bachelor, they would just flip it and just make it yeah. an elimination one. If they want to get exactly. rid of someone, this yeah. game has integrity. So I do give I the amazing I race a bonus point for that. <laughs> However, I do agree. And before we get to Brian and I's takeaways, I guess we really should talk about the Arun and Natalia stuff. Um, obviously, they came in last in this leg. It wasn't really, I mean, obviously, it's not that they're doing anything super bad, but they just aren't doing as well as the good teams are doing. They had to do their fish pass twice. They did the net a little slower than everyone else. They left in the last group, obviously, because they were in last last week almost. And that this actually the groups also did come into play. And we'll talk about that. But. I, I just I'm sorry. I think they're great people and we can talk about their dynamic. I know Kevin has a little bit of opinion on the dynamic and stuff, but I just don't think they deserve to have this many lives. And it's just to me, it's a little frustrating to watch because it's rewarding not doing well. And it's in a way it's penalizing these teams that are busting their butt and doing well. I just I'm not loving that. Bri, what do you think on that? Yeah, I agree. They should maybe make like a third tier of uh, leaving time. Uh, next week hopefully but can we start calling the cat team because they have nine lives i mean i'm down with the cat team (laughs) meow yeah it's not it's not a a black cat for sure no no (laughs) they're seeing seeing black cats in them in every single leg of every single episode everything like at what like there was a point this episode where they were literally third in line following a group of cars and I, I seriously said out loud, I wonder how they're going to get lost this time. <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? like, like it, and when they were like going through the under the uh, boat and they were like naming the fish, I was like, this is where I think I realized like the downfall of their of the whole season, basically. And their team especially is the dad versus her. I think she has like a good like understanding of the game um like spirit about her and ability i he he just i have zero confidence in him i was like they were going through that that one thing under the boat and they were like all right we each take one i was like i guarantee you number four and eight are wrong i know it like i know it (laughs) and of course i was wrong but like that's how zero how, how like low of confidence I have. 
No, I don't think that's a really unfair assumption, Kevin. I think mainly, and I think you see that not just only in the amazing race, but in life, he is the one who's always calling her out. And usually the person who's doing the calling out is usually the person who is either feeling the stress or the blame or is always the one at fault and hasn't really seen it yet. Um, I just agree. I, I think we all kind of share the sentiment that they're a great, they're great people, but we'll be very upset if they make it through the following week next week and someone else gets eliminated. Cause I just don't really think that's fair. And, and I think we beat on that, but I do want to pivot really quickly, a little bit of positivity here, guys, because people who did know how to ask for directions and it really helped them was the holderness. My team, they are killing it. The dude speaks French. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Me. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Pen speaking French. And again, you had to ask for, directions. They asked for directions right away. And they kept the lead and they never looked back. Yeah. I, I, I'm they just happy for them. I love them. Yeah, they're, they're, those, two, they're they're gonna, admit, those two never panic. They never lose their heads. You know, they're always level headed. I mean, no, nah, I one thousand percent respect their like they're doing it right. They're, there's no, I mean, definitely. they're the clear runaways I, I, for like, like what? Two weeks ago, uh, the murderers were like, oh, it was like hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Who is, is going to be a murder homicide? Seems like the elite, the elite teams. Did, Bill, did your pants get bigger team. when they, he was speaking French? What? Did your pants get bigger when he was speaking French? Oh, come on. I just respect, dude. I mean, I just really dude, think Bill if you think loves. about it, if you look at Penn and just like his mannerisms and him being goofy, and was, I, I just like me 20 years from now. It just, it's it's so obvious. So <laughs> he could it's Clark Kent with his glasses. I never really thought about that, but you're right. You can Clark Kent with those glasses. Oh, I have seen. I go. I have my nerd glasses too. Yeah, I got some. I got some nerd glasses. Oh my! Oh, they're not here. Oh, I'm so upset. That's bad preparation. That's a negative point for me these right are, there. These are also frameless. Oh, I'll give you half a point back. I do have my regular, like black rim, normal glasses. I just don't have them up the here. Inside glasses. But again, I just yeah. like it. This is something we talked about earlier in this season. Asking for directions. It is key. Stop having hubris in the amazing race. It's not like you trying to figure out how to get to the restaurant and your dad being stubborn and won't like call somebody. Ask for directions right away. And yeah, I, most of the time you'll get led right there. You, you're I mean, the they, did, you know they did is, all do that in that last. You know, what's funny? They, the, you know, it's funny the way they did the editing, though. I thought at the end when there was a uh, we were just it was between uh, the twins and Arun and Natalia. When they were sitting there, when the when they asked for directions, they said, oh, yeah, make a left at the pharmacy. It looked like the twins went past the pharmacy and they were yep. about to get put in last place. I was like, no, they didn't. Could not. you imagine? Uh, it's all really, the magic of Hollywood. I was, really, I was worried there for a sec. I was like, no, don't tell me. Well, he's been losing his picks in all of our reality things pretty quickly. <laughs> and he's just like, I can't deal with this again. Like, come on, man. I'm still doing okay on The Bachelor, but my God, everything else definitely stinks. <laughs> I'm, 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 my, my, if my pick is in literal mortal danger. For that kind of coverage, please check out our Bachelor coverage. Uh, we appreciate everyone who checks us out on there. Yeah. Um, okay, so I do want to talk about the detour. We kind of addressed it a little bit, the row, row, row your boat or gently down the stream. What would you guys have picked? I just want to get a quick answer. We'll talk about it, Brian. I know you guys probably think I would kayak, but I think I would do the 15 minute um, memory. Okay. Wally. I'm with them on the memory thing too. I think it's just strategy. Like even if you don't have to necessarily work with the other two people on the boat, but like you and your partner, like it's 10, it's 10 fish. One of you memorizes the first five. The other one memorizes the next five. Yeah. You guys can at least break it up like that. It'll be so much easier um, to remember it that way. So. And use clues. Like they were saying, like French flag. Like you can't just be like, oh, yellow and black. It needs yeah. to, you need to have like a, something that triggers your memory of it. Exactly, yeah. Kev, you rowing the boat or are you trying to do the guessing game? Uh, I'm doing the guessing game strictly because like there's been previous seasons where like, like there was one, like, I think it was, it might have been last season or like within the last three seasons. And uh, they had, like, it was a buoyed off area, and they had to find, like, a gold coin that was, like, buried in the sand. And, like, four groups did it. Three of them just stopped. And the last person, the, the last group was like, nah, dude, I'm finishing this. It took them, like, four hours. Like, oh my I don't, it, it, there's, no, there's no, like, 
when you take the less physical route, it should be more mentally difficult yeah. opposed to taking the more physical route. I, I guess it technically was, but like it didn't the time the time loss if you got it wrong mm-hmm. versus having to row around was not equal. No, the rowing seemed tough when it came down to it because those yeah. guys are in shape. Kayak and wasn't big. No, it wasn't. Over. They flipped over too, which yeah. they, they they gave me big Andy Bernard and Lake Scranton vibes kind of floating out <laughs> there. Everyone else is going about their nice little boat cruise and stuff and having enjoying the beach games and uh and there's poor murderers well, they floating around that, the boat. They give that bullshit like dramatic music like lead off to the commercial and you of see course. the thing completely upside down and they're like <laughs> underneath i'm like guys they're not gonna, do you they're see gonna, them they're fine they're, we've like, established they're not gonna let anyone die on the amazing race <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right exactly like, like, stop, stop with these games um was not a big fan of the maggoty cheese though oh my gosh yeah <laughs> i thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult Honestly, they gave them bread with it at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you had to eat the whole block. I was like, yeah. oh shit. You gotta do it. You just gotta do it quickly. Inhale it. Try to chew as little as possible, and then just swallow it. That's it. You just don't or even chew shove the it fucking shit out of it. Yeah, and and just swallow it like a drink. Just, like just <laughs> inhale. That's it. a quote it's right there. there. Swallow it like a gel. That's a quote like, right there. Like uh, Popeye with the spinach, where just he puts a whole can yes. in and just, and just, 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 just make sure that there is nothing living. I uh, maggots, maggots are the th- like. So say what if um what if one of them is still alive the- and it goes into your tummy and I mean, next thing you know bad. you have worms. Uh, listen, or maggot butt. Uh, listen, Bob Saget died from bumping his head. I think I could die from eating a maggot cheese so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna take my chances and not eat the maggot cheese if i can but wait that's how bob saget died they yeah. just felt, he bumped his head yeah brain bleed he just like thought he probably like bumped his head like taking a shower and thought oh. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah is that a cocaine I, joke did you I mean, mean that that drugs, like? alcohol wasn't involved what you said he bumped his head did you mean to make a cocaine joke no, no, no. I don't know. Well, I really I, don't. No, no, no. Like they're saying that he had like a like a back of his head, like a brain yeah, boost. Like he literally yeah, like, probably cool. bumped his head on something. Yeah, like they said drugs and alcohol wasn't involved at all. Hmm. So I, I'm now like deathly afraid of like bumping my knee. Yeah. Like they'll throw a clot. <laughs> That's pretty scary. The knee is nowhere close to the level. Of the uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> bu- I bump my head every day too. Like I don't want to go to sleep anymore either. Got a lot of things got robbed from me though. tonight. That also, wall, that angled also, wall behind you, you can bump your head on that. Yeah. Also, another thing this I found. Death that, trap, right? Also, another Bill thing just like wears a helmet for now. Yeah. Also, another thing I found out, though, um, uh, regarding uh, Ryan and Dusty, um, uh, Ryan was convicted of murder. I found out that his documentary is actually on Netflix. About yeah, I saw all. that. Facebook what? Group where yeah, it's, called, it's, called, it. it's called Dream Killer on Netflix, and it's literally a whole, you know, documentary on the whole case and what went down and everything and people are saying like it's pretty fast what was his dream huh? probably what did not be in jail dream? i have no idea i didn't watch, <laughs> yeah. I didn't watch it yet. broadly yeah. i would say not to end up in jail <laughs> but more specifically he was a football kicker he actually wanted to host a reality tv youtube page oh yeah he's the fifth member or did he roll through? Oh, oh, is he, dude? Right? Is he like is the like in Bill got convicted of murder? No, 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 no. Like, I'm like the yeah, I'm like the that. Red Ranger, probably. Like that, you're saying there's like a Green Ranger out there we haven't met yet. Mm. What the hell are you talking about? Power Rangers. Well, I get that, but that well because like I'm saying, I'm I started from the beginning, so I'm Jason. Like I'm not gonna be Tommy. Like that's that'd be a little thing, but like now they're saying that there's a, a fifth Ranger out there, so that means he's our Green Ranger. There's a green reality guy Power Ranger out there. So it went green and then white. Uh, I don't know if you could go white uh, anymore, though. Green, we, I don't know if that's the move anymore. He was green first and then became white. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. yeah, yeah I know, but I don't know if you could become white now. And, 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 yeah, because yeah. yeah. he was the green one. Mm-hmm. Might have to find something a little bit Tangents. more. That's fine. Listen, yeah, there was no one got eliminated. That's the problem. Yeah. This is what happens when no one gets eliminated. But no, I'm, honestly... Um, does anyone have any other big points here? Like I said, uh, Kim and Penn, 
uh, won the leg. They get a trip to Turkey. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they got a lot of vacations and cash lined yeah. up. Yeah, I have a serious question yeah. about this. Yeah. Are turkeys named Turkey because they came from the country of Turkey? Or is that just a coincidence? Coincidence. I think it's a coincidence. Definitely. And did you hear her say, like, I always wanted to go to Turkey? Do you think they made her say that? I mean, yes. Istanbul. I mean, I Istanbul is cool. Yeah, Constantinople. Istanbul, Constantinople. Man, we've had a lot of good songs pop up tonight. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make an intro today. Put yeah. it on the Ritz. <laughs> All right. Well, honestly, I actually have a lot of fun with these. Uh, I don't have fun with people not getting eliminated. Sorry. Again, I'm not out for like Natalia. It could be anybody, but they just have had way too many lives. This happened last season on the Amazing Race, too. There was the two younger, the two young women, and they they had like two times where they were supposed to get eliminated and didn't. So this has happened before. Uh, but I'm looking forward. I mean, there's only five. What's it? Five teams left. Yeah. Why don't Dude, we- one of these episodes we need to go in a discussion as to uh, the deeper like reasoning as to why they pick episode by episode? Why for- did they not do the things, Kev? Like, what do they call them? The what are the the U turns? Why don't they do U turns anymore? I don't know. I thought that was Is that like a COVID my- thing. Why can't you have U turns? The- like, why can't you have a U turn in COVID? I don't understand that. Doesn't mean you have to go uh, geographically like far. Head- well, weeks ago. The U-turns were the best. You screwed people. That was like part of the competition. I guess they just. Yeah. And if they came back, they would like hold garages. Yeah. I, I wonder if it has something to do with uh, the fact that they like were giving out a trip and they wanted to have that. I, I like there. I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, also, why can't they just have more teams and one team gets eliminated every week? That just makes too I, much sense to me. Wally, yeah. do you have any uh, closing thoughts on this episode? Um, I don't think so, really. I mean, honestly, just looking forward to next week. I would like to see them maybe like eliminate more than one team now that they Ooh. skip. I mean, Ooh, a double elim. All right, that's a bold like prediction. That. We'll take it bold. I don't think it's. I'm not necessarily predicting it. I'd say I would like to see it. Just be mm-hmm. like, hey, you know what? Let's up the ante a little. You're bit. You're choosing here. violence. Um, There's at least <laughs> three more episodes. <laughs> who do we think three more episodes? Down. Okay, cool. Um. We appreciate everyone who watches all the com- like the commenting, everything like that. Our discourse and all of that has gone way up in the last month or so. So we appreciate everybody that's been commenting. Um, if you're checking us out for Amazing Race, we do actually cover basically anything and everything reality TV. Really big on the Bachelor franchise, the challenge, Survivor, any of the kind of dating shows, things coming up, competition shows. If you guys have a suggestion, we'd love to check it out. We have a series of stuff where we watch pilots and do live reactions. Um, but for myself, Brian, Waleed, Kevin, the whole squad. Peace.